Hello everyone, today we're going to do Packs Reserve Season 8 2, version 7, 1.3.6, Packs Reserve Configure SSH. Here's a dressing table, uh, two devices, S1, PC1, here's the interface information, IP address information. Yeah, so yeah, from, from this topology, we can tell this switch is a layer 2 switch because it uh, directly connected to NN devices, PC1. Uh, we know that uh, layer two switch use MAC address to transmit information and the uh, switch doesn't need IP address because um, IP address is a layer three IP address. And also the physical ports on switch don't support IP address. So when you see IP address on switch, this IP address is only for management use. And also this IP address only can be configured on the virtual interface, switch virtual interface. It is also called SVI. So here the IP address configured on the interface VLAN 1. VLAN 1 is the default switch virtual interface. So remember that IP address on switch is for management use. So objectives part one, secure passwords. Part two, encrypt communications. Part three, verify SSH implementation. Background, SSH should replace Telnet for management connections. So here's the management. And Telnet uses insecure plain text communications. SSH provides security for remote connections by providing strong encryption of all transmitted data between devices. In this activity, you will secure a remote switch with password encryption at SSH. Encrypt, uh, instructions. Part one, secure passwords using the command prompt on PC1. P PC1, command prompt is uh, in the desktop. Okay, here, command prompt. Okay, tell it to S1, tell it to S1, user executive, privileged executive password is Cisco. All right, so Telnet, followed by the S1's IP address. Okay, IP address is 10.10.10.2, 10.10.10.2. And so password Cisco, yeah, enable Cisco again. Okay, so we are here, S1 now. So we get S1 from PC through Telnet. So next, uh, save the current configuration so that uh, any mistakes you might make can be reversed by toggling the power for S1. So we save the configuration is uh, copy, copy is save, copy, running configuration to start up configuration. I use the short version of the command. Yes, okay, so here. Then show the current configuration. Notice, note that the passwords are in plain text. So here I use show wrong, show wrong configuration. So let's look at the passwords. So here enable password, Cisco, this is the plain text. This is for the executive mode access. The password is for. Here's the line, the line VTY password Cisco, line VTY 515 Cisco. All these passwords are plain text. So next we need to encrypt all these plain text passwords. We use, we need, first we need to go to configuration mode is configure terminal. And uh, use the command service password encryption to encrypt all these plain text passwords. So service password dash encryption. Okay, so we saved. Oh, we we uh, encrypt. So now we verify exit. So verify is show run again. 
to run again. Let's look at a password again. Here, enable password. Now, from Cisco, the plain text change to this number or this number doesn't make any sense. So that means this password is encrypted. And how about the VT1 lines password? Yeah, all this changed, changed, not Cisco anymore. It is this number. Okay, so that means all these passwords are encrypted. Next, part two, encrypt communications. Step one, set IP domain name and generate security keys. It is generally not safe. It is generally not safe to use Telnet because data is transmitted in plain text, therefore use SSH whenever it is available. Configure the domain name to be netcat.pka. So let's go to configure terminal, um, IP domain name. Okay, netcat.pka. Next is secure keys are needed to encrypt data generated the RSA keys using the 1024 key length. So we use we use a command crypto key gen generate crypto key generate RSA and uh, so how many bits in the modulus is 1024 key length? 1024, we type 1024. All right, so now we finish this part, step one. Step two, create an SSH user and uh, reconfigure the v y lines for SSH only access. A create administrator user with Cisco as the secret password. Secret password is an encrypted password. So here is for the authentication. Um, so username. But username is administrator. Administrator, okay. Administrator, okay. And a secret, Cisco. Okay, and uh, configure VTY lines to check the local username database for local credentials. So let's go to the line configuration mode. So line VTY 015. Oh, sorry, line VTY 015. Okay, so here's a check local username database for login. Check a local username database for login. So we we use command login local. Okay, next is only allow SSH for remote access. Only allow SSH for remote access. We use um, command transport transport input SSH transport input SSH. Yeah, we use this command to only allow SSH for remote access and remove the existing VTY lines. So no password. All right, so we finished this configuration. Look at completion is 100%. That means we perfectly finished this configuration. Next, we need to verify SSH implementation. So, so far, we are still in the Telnet session. So we need to exit the Telnet session. So we use exit, exit again, exit again. So from switch one back to the PC one now. So let's try to use Telnet again to see how it works. It should fail. Okay, Telnet, I use up arrow. You see here is a closed by foreign host. That means we only can use SSH to remotely access S1. We cannot use uh, Telnet anymore. 
So, so now we try to use SSH, SSH, enter. They ask us to use enter, see? So they give us hint. So SSH dash L, here's the dash L, not one, L means local. Okay, username, target. So SSH dash, space dash L means local dash, oh, space, username. Here the username we just configured is administrator. The minis Twitter and followed by the S1's IP address 10. 10. 10. 2. Okay, password Cisco. Okay, yeah, we get on the uh, switch one now. S1 enable. Okay, Cisco again. Okay, yes, yeah, so we get on. We successfully get on S1. So now we perfectly finish this pack tracer. So configure SSH. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please thumbs up and subscribe my channel and share with your friends. See you next time.